The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. Right now where there is not much rain to speak of, not only in our region, but across a lot of the eastern part of the country. Some storminess making its way through Tennessee. A little bit of rainfall in South Dakota, but most of what's on this side is concentrated in Florida. Even that, the storms are staying generally calm right this minute. Looking a little bit further off towards the west, there is some rainfall in New Mexico and some up again into the Dakotas. Lots of little pieces here and there throughout the Rockies, but the states that really need the rain aren't getting it ton right this minute. A lot of that's concentrated towards Texas and Louisiana and then further up north as you get into the Dakotas, Minnesota and Iowa. Now for us, we still have some fairly dry counties. All the ones in yellow, which include a lot of the Lynchburg and Southside zones are abnormally dry. The ones in tan up towards Highland County, parts of Rockbridge off towards Lynchburg and Bedford. Those are in a moderate drought right this minute. So that's the level one drought before getting up towards severe further in the Shenandoah Valley. The rainfall that we've got coming on Saturday will help to alleviate that. We've stayed pretty dry, so it makes sense that we are today so dry with only the rain that we've had over the last week and even further earlier into the summer. Sunday was the last time that we had any rainfall that was really noticeable, about half an inch there. But before that, it stayed dry, and since that, it's staying particularly dry. So this next low pressure system is going to help us out. We get some showers here and there on Friday. I think it really takes until Saturday for this to come into its own. Own. And then as Saturday continues, rain keeps on spinning around as we go into the afternoon. Now there could be some heavy rain a little bit closer towards Richmond. For us, I think it's mostly going to stay as kind of a drizzly consistent rain through a lot of the day further towards the east and more showers in the highlands and NRV. So we get towards Saturday evening that starts to wrap up. Not a whole lot left over as we go into Sunday, just little showers here and there. For the rainfall forecast, again, more of it stacks up further towards the east. And with the most recent data that we've got in, it pushes the heavier rain even further off towards the east. So most of our range with the most updated information stays under two inches of rain. So flooding's unlikely, but it does help to bring some much needed rainfall to those eastern counties. Now our temperatures are going to fall back to the 50s overnight, so that's pretty average. And because we don't have any moisture right now, before before that system comes on Saturday. It doesn't feel any warmer or anything than that. It just is pretty nice, calm, clear through a lot of the night. Blacksburg at 53, Danville 56, and Lexington at 59. On Thursday, temperatures get back to the 70s and around 80. That's basically what we had for today. Pulaski at 74, Alta Vista 81, and Lexington at 79. Rather comfortable through a lot of the region. Slightly cooler on Friday. If you enjoy some fall like weather, this is really going to feel like it, even though it's technically the last day of summer. Covington's at 73, and Danville is at 75. On the extended forecast, we feel even cooler as we start off fall itself, quite a bit below average there. But because of those clouds, it doesn't take too long for us to warm back up. Those clouds clear out. We got sunshine on Sunday, puts us back to the mid 70s, 80s on Monday. There's a system that comes through in the middle of the next week that brings some rainfall and cooler air. Those will work together to bring a lot of hard high temperatures into the 60s and another 30 degree guarantee. I think it was Parker that put this number for today, but it got to 81 right on the money. So that's another $100 for us this month so far.